Hello everyone, my name is Brad Chappell and this is the second video on using the Domain Spoon application. If you haven't watched the first video, I recommend that you do that before watching this video. In our last video, we uploaded a batch of over 2,000 URLs that we had exported from Xenu Link Sleuth. The Domain Spoon application then picked the root domains out of those URLs, sorted through those domains, and removed the ones that were unregisterable such as the .edu, the .gov, the .mil, and so on. The application also removed the duplicates so that each domain being processed from this point forward is unique. The second stage of the application is designed to check if the domain is available to register. That's the screen that we're on right now, the availability page. In the context of finding high quality expired domains, there's no use in checking the metrics on a domain that you can't register. So we do that first. You'll see here that when you click on start, part of the screen goes slightly dark. Now this is by design. The darkness is an overlay that's used to block the sorting of the columns, right here. And it also blocks the navigation at the bottom of the screen right here. Now trying to organize the data while the domain processing is occurring is a very server intensive process. So to reduce the chances of dragging down the server or crashing the server, we block these aspects of the application while the domains are being checked. However, after the domains are checked, the overlay will disappear and you, you can sort through the columns or look at the other pages with navigation at the bottom of the screen. Now this would probably be a good time to also mention that this application is programmed in AJAX, which for lack of a better description is a group of technologies that allows for a sophisticated client-side experience to be combined with server-side processing. So, at least for now, your browser does have to stay connected to the web during the processing of your URLs and domains. So, please, if you haven't done so already, and especially if you're doing this on a laptop, make sure that your computer is not turning off your network connection to save power during periods of inactivity. Losing your connection to the internet in the middle of a job will definitely cause some crazy, seemingly random errors during your use of the Domain Spoon application. So let me show you what to do here to fix that. Uh, as you can see, the domain checking availability is done. Let me show you what to do here so that you won't get randomly disconnected from the internet and crash the application that's running on your browser. You simply go to your internet connections, which should be a screen that looks very similar to this. You right click on your local area connection and choose properties. And then you choose configure. And then you go to the power management tab. And just make sure that there is no check mark in this box like this. Just take the check mark out of the box and then click OK and then you can close your internet connection. So as you can see the availability check finished and we can see now that there are quite a few of these domains which are not available but there are some that are. Right there, right there, right there, a couple right there. You know, and this is multiple pages that you can sort through. Quite a number of domains here that are checked very, very quickly. All of these can be sorted, of course, as I said before. You can sort by top level domains or host names. And all of the domains that are available in green are moved over to the metrics page so that we can check the metrics on those domains. And we'll check the metrics for those domains in the next video.